Okay, so right now it is 8.33 p.m. on May 27th, and this is going to be a very short video uh, where I basically explain what happened today and why today is pretty much Hong Kongers' last stand. So if you don't know this, a few days ago, uh, the Chinese government had uh, implemented a law to Hong Kong that will be passed uh, seven days after it is being implemented so uh, it's like uh, tomorrow or a couple days later and the law is basically the national security law and uh, what national security law means is that uh, you can't criticize the government of course you can't go onto the streets and protest but also if you criticize the government on your social media you risk a chance of being arrested and uh, even worse because after you're arrested the police can do anything to you or, or whoever can do anything to you basically and uh, this law is uh, is horrifying it's terrifying and what this law means uh, is even more terrifying because if the Chinese government can pass any kind of law they want skipping the uh, the decision-making process of the Hong Kong government and the Hong Kong people themselves this means that the Chinese government can impose any law they want and nobody will be able to say anything about that. And they can, you know, ban our language, our Cantonese language. They can ban us from, from using, you know, Google and Twitter and YouTube, all foreign media. And uh, we will have no say on that. So it is very terrifying. Um, yeah, and uh, this also... Um, means that the freedom of Hong Kong is getting less and less and less being reduced so it's been really scary on May 24th um, a lot of people went to the streets to protest the national security law but of course nobody uh, up there uh, nobody in the authorities really cared so today on May 27th uh, the people have returned on the streets but since uh, we are about to enter the era where our freedom is undermined, because a few days later, a couple of days later, the national security law is going to be passed. This is probably our last chance to protest, uh, our final chance to protest and voice our opinions on the streets. Also, probably the last chance that I get to be able to talk about politics on YouTube. So, uh, of course, I would, um, you know, use this very precious opportunity to just talk about politics on YouTube, my thoughts, my opinions. And, um, yeah, um, today is also, uh, at the same time, uh, the first day of school for all the people in Hong Kong who are studying uh, in 9th grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade. Only three grades of students. Are allowed to go to school today uh, the first day in uh, 126 days of uh, nothing um, and uh, yeah um, it's uh, I, I don't know it's getting more and more dangerous I mean um, yeah I the police uh, the you know the everything the government and now that uh, students are um, are going to school again and the police you know how much they love attacking students and teenagers uh it's i don't know what to say i i just hope that one day hong kong will uh finally get the freedom that it deserves and i hope that one day um we will be able to uh, criticize the government however we want in a very democratic way and um, I just wish all the all the luck in the world for all my fellow Hong Kongers. And um, yeah, that that's it. There's that.